In this video, I want to show you guys a free and open source application for Windows, which lets you create a apps folder in Windows taskbar, which looks something like this. Basically, you can group multiple apps into one folder and you can pin it to your taskbar. And this is actually really good for organizing multiple apps, let's say office apps in one folder and you can access them quickly from your taskbar or Adobe apps and all that. So you get the idea, okay? So this is a free and open source application available at GitHub called App Group. So to download this, you can go to releases and from here, just download this zip file. And then once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder and just unzip it, okay? So once you unzip it, go to the unzipped folder and then just run it. This is a portable program for now, so you don't have to install it. So you can put this thing wherever you want. Once you launch this, uh, this is the interface of this application here. All you need to do is click on plus icon, uh, give it a name, the group name. For example, I'm just going to say apps. You can name it whatever you want. And after that, click on this plus icon to add the apps to the group, okay? Or you can do a drag and drop, okay? So from wherever you want. Let's say, for example, I wanna add Bluestacks here. Let's add it, okay? So however you prefer, okay? So click on plus icon. You can select multiple of them at once, okay? So Chrome, uh, let's say this one. Let's say this one too. You can add as many as you want, okay? So let's say, for example, I added three, six. You can also change the column. Since I have a six, I think three will just make sense, okay? You can also uh, change the icon of this thing. Regular icon, you can choose whatever, uh, you know, icon you want, or you can have the grid icon from the grouped applications, okay? So I'm gonna select that for this example, and I'm gonna click on save. Once I click on save, uh, I have this group created named apps. To add it to the taskbar, uh, click on this three dot menu and then click on open files. You'll see groups that you have created, okay? So this is the one. I can simply drag and drop it to the taskbar, just like that. And now, once I click on it, it will open my apps, basically, okay? So I can also do the editing while it's pinned, okay, I can add more or let's say, for example, I want to show header, basically the name of the group. If I click on save, go back, now it shows the name of the group apps, basically. So let's say you're organizing the office apps, you can name it office, let's say Adobe, you can name it Adobe, you know how it goes. I know you guys are smart, so <laughs> I'm just here to do the tutorial. The dev of this app actually DM'd me on Twitter and that's how I know about this application actually. And this is actually really cool to organize your apps if you want something like this, okay? So I can, let's say for example, make changes to already created groups at any time by editing it. And I, I can have that thing pinned. Let's say uh, I wanna change the column to four, okay? So I can do that now you will see the changes, okay? You don't have to unpin or anything like that. So it just works. And now there are a couple of things that needs to be improved. If you're a dev, you're watching this, please. Okay, first thing, uh, it's not quick to open, okay? It takes a little bit of time. And I think I know why, okay? Let me change that. So every time when I click on this icon, it actually launches the app group application, which takes time and consumes a little bit of more RAM at startup. So I think it can be improved on this, okay? So it takes a little bit of time and it's not that smooth. And another thing, <laughs> okay, this one is a weird one. Uh, if I click on app group and I move my mouse cursor quickly to some other places, let's say for example, I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna launch that app group wherever my mouse is present at that time. Maybe make the app installable and make it run in background all the time. 
and just optimize it so it doesn't eat all the resources. I think that's how we can fix the launch delay. If it's running in the background all the time, it doesn't have to launch the app group, you know, uh, every time we click on the group. So yeah, that's, I think the easiest way to fix it, or maybe there are other ways to fix it. I'm not a programmer, but I'm just saying this, okay. And I don't know how to fix this issue with the mouse. Like it's following the mouse, maybe make it not to follow the mouse, I guess. I think this is also easy fix. Make it open in certain area, close to wherever you have pinned the group, okay? I think that's also easy fix. So yeah, uh, this is pretty cool, actually. You can create multiple groups if you want. So you can add multiple things in here. I forgot to choose the icon, okay? You can choose whatever icon you want. I don't know how well it's gonna play. Let me try to add a wallpaper here, <laughs> okay? Yeah, that, that's, that's cool, that's cool, actually. So I'm gonna go open file, pin it, and it has its own icon, which looks cool. Okay, and uh, yeah, if that's something you want, yeah, you can have your custom icon. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.